dropped a little coolant in there, but not too bad. Wow, that thing's heavy. All right, so something a little different here today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and block off the heat crossover. And what that is, I'm going to grab my light here. Doing an intake manifold swap on this old F100. And it had a two barrel iron intake. Now, you need the heat crossover, which is right here in its exhaust port that runs through the bottom and heats up the plenum of your intake manifold so you get a better fuel atomization. But on the aluminum intakes, they already uh, disperse heat quite a bit and spread the heat throughout the intake. Uh, just aluminum's a much better conductor and the heat travels through it much more evenly. So you don't necessarily need this. And what happens a lot if you don't have say hood clearance for a carb spacer, it starts to get your carburetor really hot and it'll mess with your air fuel mixture settings because obviously the hotter your fuel is, the um, less dense it is. And um, you know, it just causes a lot of issues I've found. So um, I run a lot of air gap intakes on stuff, but um, and you'll see performance heads, they don't have that heat crossover. So what I've done here today, since our intake manifold, has a heat crossover is I've made some crossover block off plates here. Now um, I made this out of one of these uh, Mexican coconut water drinks or wherever it's from but uh, the bottles are made of a much harder it's either steel or it's really thick aluminum. I'm pretty sure it's steel so it doesn't load up my grinder and um, it's a lot thicker. You don't want to use um, aluminum cans and stuff they're just gonna get hot and weak and eventually they'll just disintegrate in there. So um, these are pretty strong and I just put a grinder in a vise and um, kind of draw out a pattern. You see here they just, they'll lay nicely over um, our port here and they're not, I mean they're, they're darn paper thin so they're not gonna cause any sealing issues. So anyway, um, we're gonna get this on here, block off this heat crossover and uh, our truck should run a heck of a lot better. So anyway, a little bit different stuff here today. Here's a better look at the intake manifold here. You can see the runners um, in the intake and then here's uh, that heating exhaust port under the plenum. So again, this is what we're blocking off and we're going to uh, avoid this from overheating our runners. As I said, the aluminum here, it, uh, it transfers heat much better. So the engine, the heat from the engine itself and the heads and the block are going to transfer into the intake and it'll warm up much faster. Now if you did this on iron intake, you might have issues because, um, you know, they don't disperse heat very well. So your runners wouldn't get hot enough, but on the aluminum intakes, they get plenty warm and you're just losing horsepower to this. So again, this is why we're blocking it off.